Hey y'all, I'm uh, gonna go out today and show y'all what I think is just about the fastest way to level a uh, Reaper Queen baby. As you can see, we're starting out at level two, six hours and 27 minutes. We're gonna see how long on one time it takes us to get all the way to um, full 75 levels. I think well, the only thing that might throw off this plan is if we manage to find a higher level one than the one that's in me, which is just a 95. Um, I've been out trying to get some friends from Reaper Queens, or Kings rather, and um, I figured I might just always be with them when we end up finding large ones, or high level ones. So I figured I might as well just get a 95 in the hopes that it would uh, roll as a uh, arc archaeology uh, event mutation, so like a white or gray or even a solid black. So anyway, um, yeah, let's see if we can get this puppy leveled and see how long it takes roughly. And uh, yeah, I'm going to put on some music, but we'll come back when we're done. I would say, man, I guess I've just gotten used to how much damage the uh, Reaper Kings do. These guys are not doing as much as I remembered. But um, the advantage of the Rock Drake over a Reaper King for killing Queens is that you can do those last few shots with a shotgun on their back. And uh, you get double the experience than you would if you just killed them with your dino. So you can see for that one kill I got roughly 2,000. Uh, I think I was at, maybe it was 1,000 because I think I was at 2,600. So got three additional levels. And, um, yeah, I'm sure that people watching this video that are if they're down here know better, but um, when you're on a rock drake, you really want to avoid getting on this black rock because you can get pushed through the ground really easily and uh, get your drake stuck. Also, I'd just point out that uh, this one lost about 1,800 in that fight, which really is not much compared to how much you would have lost on a Reaper King in a fight that lasted that long. Um, we do have a 124 armor saddle on it right now, and uh, I am the uh, imprinter on this, so we had some decent damage reduction things going on there. Uh, but yeah, keep going, see if we can find a higher one, which will give us more XP.
See there, I got, uh, golly, they scale really well. That gave me uh, 10 and 11 levels. And uh, one thing I'll say is uh, I did bring shields so that if I do happen to find a um, higher level of queen, I can um, pretty easily um, get impregnated by her, which would be cool. But uh, eh, you never know. Another nice thing about rock drakes is they're fairly mobile, so I should be able to get back to a healing tree pretty quickly. Um, if I had done some prep in advance, I could also have some uh, venom on me, which would allow us to kind of on the go heal up for a hundred a piece. So, uh, you know, it's not too bad to get a stack of 40 or so, uh, or not a stack, because they don't stack, but you know, 40 or so of venom coming in here. And that would give you uh, 4,000 hit points, which I think for a lot of rock drakes is roughly half their hit points and you can heal yourself up uh, in a bind, but really for the time, I think it's uh, just as easy to uh, go back to the uh, healing tree and uh, get healed up there. Looks like uh, maybe someone else has the same idea we do. We, uh, we might try a different route um, after we uh, get done with this healing tree. One thing uh, also I'll say is uh, if you're going to spend any, no, any amount of time down here in pink, one thing that's definitely worth investing in is uh, some good riot or uh, <laughs> hazmat gear. And uh, as you can see, our worst piece has uh, is the chest. It's got 206 durability, but the uh, standard one has 80. So this is essentially two and a half um, of them, and it just makes being down here a lot. Um, enjoyable I feel like if you're not constantly having to worry about your uh, gear um, being um, oh, all the durability being off of it and then are broken and then um, also when you're actually on the ground getting impregnated you are gonna take some damage from nameless and perhaps the queen um, and so the extra armor on Increased gear is uh, definitely very worthwhile, and, and I'd even say pretty necessary to do this with, uh, well, not necessary, but um, makes it much safer. Ooh, 110. I don't think a 110 is worth uh, upgrading above a 95. I know that seems kind of sacrilegious, just almost, but going to be really good XP. <laughs> it's going to make this uh, video seem a lot more feasible. My uh, idea that on single player you can quickly get a full, uh, you can get full XP for a Reap Queen. So, yeah, we'll kill him. We'll see how much he gives us. I like fighting on this ground, and it appears that uh, that knockback isn't really pushing me back too far. <clears throat> Seems like no matter what sort of train you're on with a Reaper King, you always get pushed back, and then inevitably um, the Reaper Queen does her little uh, tail shot, which uh, you know does torpor. And uh, you know if you're not careful, before you know it, you've got uh, torpor on your hands, and you have to stop just to. Let your uh, Reaper King recover from that uh, risk of uh, it passing out on you, which would be no bueno down here. 
Actually, I can't even imagine what a passed out Reaper King would look like. That'd be pretty sweet. Almost seems like something that I'd like to test with uh, some other people with me uh, that can protect it while it takes a nap. Now, technically, I could probably do this faster if I just pulled out the shotgun and shot it for the whole uh, amount of its hit points. I just feel like, uh, you know, shotgun shells are a little tedious to make. Uh, at least from a resource standpoint, they're not too bad on aberration because metal is so plentiful here. But, um, you know, I just assume you use the damage of the break. Also, if you uh, push forward as the uh, Reaper Queen does her tail swipe, seems like you don't initially get out of range. On this one, I'll uh, go ahead and maybe let it push me and we'll see if it does the tail thing I'm talking about. There it goes. And over time, those will those will add up and, and you'll get in a predicament. Alternatively, you could bring um, some stimulus with you. Stimulant, sorry. Not a spinning bill. All right, here we go. So we're at 11,053, 16 point up levels. Okay, so that gave us, uh, oops, we need to get out of this quickly. Another 15, 16 levels. And again, this is on one time, guys. So uh, two times we would be at plus 60 now, basically, which is, uh, very close to the max levels you can get for a baby Reaper Queen, which is 75 levels. Uh, one nice thing about Reaper Queens <clears throat> versus uh, other dinos is that the taming efficiency is always uh, maxes out at 75 levels. So even if you get a level 100 uh, Reaper Queen uh, to impregnate you or Reaper King can come out at 175 so you don't lose half the levels that you normally get or you normally lose from a lower level um, tame you know kind of the advantage of getting a 150 is you can get that full 75 bonus levels uh, whereas if you get a 140 you're looking at only getting um, you know what 70 bonus levels but you always get the full 75 so it actually makes uh, slightly lower than 150 Ripper Queens uh, relatively more attractive than um, other similar old dinos that you'd be hunting for. Again, this is our very poorly rolled Rock Drake. Rolls are up. Although I find this place to be full of false positives, so I don't spend too much time looking for them when I see my frills up. Ah, you know, if I had been thinking about it, I would have uh, called out in chat to that guy down here. Let him know that there was 110. He might have been very happy with that. Oh well, if I see another one, I will do that. Alright, well, I'm gonna probably put the music back on until. Uh, else occurs to me to tell you <laughs> or uh, we uh, find a uh, reef queen we're looking for. Sure, it's common knowledge, but um, one thing to keep in mind is that when those uh, seekers are attacking you, they are actually getting healed by your uh, charge, your uh, charge pet, and so light pet. So if you turn it off when fighting them, even just briefly, you can uh, really quickly kill them. Another nice trick you'll see I just used there is that when you go into your menu for um, emotes for turning on and off your light. If you're on a PC at least, 
you can uh, press one of the uh, bracket buttons while um, selecting on that um, emote and you can actually set it to where you can cast it without having to go through the uh, key menu which makes it much, uh, much faster, much easier. So anyway, there you go. <laughs> Alright, so looks like that one gave us another 14 points, up to 31,000 XP. Um, again, the max XP you can get on a Ripper Queen Baby, I think, is uh, something close to like 52,400. So, um, you know, we're a bit, we're halfway there. If uh, we are truly just farming for Reaper Queens, one thing you can do is actually just. Um, lead them off the edges and they will jump down and something that's kind of unique uh, from my perspective to Reaper Queens is that whenever they um, kind of whenever they are outside of their kind of normal uh, roaming area or even just like out of uh, render distance they basically always despawn and you get new ones so it makes it so it's kind of hard you can't like see a high level and leave the area and come back in five minutes and all too uh, realistically expect to find that one there again um, but it also but it makes it so that you can um, get rid of a whole bunch of low level ones without actually having to kill them by just uh, jumping off cliffs and, and having the Reaper Queens follow you and then um, coming back to where you were and you can just rinse and repeat that all day long it's not like a uh, you know rock drake egg, which if you remove the rock drake egg from the nest and, and don't uh, keep it in your inventory or um, eat it or something, if you just like throw it on the ground somewhere, then you essentially break the spawn for that nest until that egg despawns, which takes a long time, as you probably all know. So, anyway, just uh, some tips.
<laughs> that is scary. That is so scary. That's why we. That's why, boys and girls, we fight on solid ground. And even then, sometimes, <laughs> Art tries to kill us. I think that Reaper Queen despawned. Man, that's what I'm talking about. You uh, leave it for two seconds and uh, you lose your Reaper Queen. Gotta stick on it. And it, it might have been, it might have followed me down there, I don't know. But after that little experience, I really wasn't uh, interested in messing with that one anymore. <laughs> just going for speed um, and you're not stingy like me when it comes to shotgun shells you might be better off just using a shotgun let's let's try that see if we feel like it's appreciably faster we're gonna see we have 87 or probably we had by 92 to start with off. I'm going to save my bullets. So we're going to get off the bad ground. Okay, light pits back on. I'm not confident that it's actually in the range of this. My light pad, even though I appear to be in light, I don't my light pad on. I need to be like right underneath it. definitely faster um, especially if you uh, get in range you're actually using your light pet when attacking it but it looks like it used about 40 shotgun shells um, I'm gonna say I wasted a couple um, with the with him not being in the light plant radius when I was shooting at him um, it's also a little riskier because you Another one here. Level she. 15. Hmm. again about uh, 40 shotgun shells even for 115 uh, see we're now at plus 70 levels so we're only five away from our goal I probably would usually heal at this point with the rock drake but I'm kind of feeling like we're we're kind of prizes at hand um, so we might I don't really want to fight on this ground got a second one over there too. Let's see if the use of these are any good. Five and uh, 
so I could just kill the five. So I feel like all this ground is bad here. Maybe this isn't bad, I don't know. Maybe this is safe. So five and a twenty. Nothing, nothing worth risking our uh, lives over. And uh, I have said many times that the most dangerous, <laughs> dangerous thing in pink is the ground. So we will, we will not, and say we did. Food. Yeah, I mean, I think if we just find like a, I don't know, maybe like a 50, probably that would be enough to get us there. Um, unlike a lot of other types of XP, it's not, not exponential, you know. Um, when you're gaining levels as a character, uh, as you will know, every time you level up, you have to get more experience for the next level. Whereas these 75 levels are. It's just a linear um, requirement, so you don't have to get more and more and more experience to get more levels. These last five levels will come as fast as the first five did. Might just speed this up a little bit to save our uh, Drake so we can get another kill in. Unfortunately, Kali. Out of there. Bad. Okay. Um, yeah, we were we were getting wailed on by quite a bit of stuff there. I'm still feeling pretty confident about this. Um, I mean, we really only need to kill like. Level 10 or something. Just what we need.
All right, we're there. Yeah, we're there. I'm gonna check the timer uh, when I remake this video. We'll see how long it took, but less than an hour. So not bad on one times to get uh, Reaper all the way full, uh, full XP in less than one hour. 